Adina, as we stand here today in front of our family and friends, let's take a moment to look back at how far we've come. I need to be very careful how I start these vows because I've been getting made fun of for almost an entire year from my opening line of our first set of vows, which started by simply saying, Charlie, I love you. <laughs> but you know what? I do. I love you so, so much. Uh -huh. So tell me what's wrong with feeling I'm We briefly met, and I thought you were cute, but I didn't even consider the idea that a goofball like me would have a shot with someone like you. But then, amazingly, you were interested in me. All of a sudden, we were seeing each other. It happened so quickly. And we were sneaking around at work, and we were going out at night. And we would see each other in the office and share a secret little smile. It was so much fun. As we were planning this wedding, Rabbi Josh asked us how we wanted to conduct this ceremony, what we wanted to keep the same, and what things we wanted to switch up. When asked about writing vows again, he quickly said yes and then looked at me for confirmation. I completely agreed, but also thought, just how lucky am I to have somebody that loves me enough, has the ability to put it on paper, which is not an easy task, and declare it to the world twice. gorgeous back of Adina's head, which is lovely. She has a great head of hair. The same sparkly eyed, hearts and eyes face that I saw years ago at that birthday dinner. May life bring you many more years of full hearts. Over the past five years, our family has watched with joy and gratitude as she makes Charlie into a better person and partner. They not only have found love, but the best in each other. As Charlie recounted the family time that was so meaningful to him, it was evident how much he loves Charlie for who he is and that their family together is not some imaginary future thing, but in fact already here and palpable, so real in their love. Life together is just starting. It may take many turns along the way. You'll have glorious days and you'll have sad days. However, if you have each other, you have all you need. Cling to each other, communicate with each other, and make each other number one in your lives. With these tools, you will always have a successful marriage. Something in the way she moves, or looks our way, or calls our name.
that seems to leave our troubled world behind. If we're feeling down or blue, or troubled by some foolish game, she always seems to make us change our mind. 